So often we hear people say that they can't do something because it's out of their comfort zone, they're uncomfortable doing it, it's against their nature. And in this week's Parsha, when Yaakov is going to encounter his brother Esau, his brother Esau, who he's been disconnected from for good reason because Esau was trouble, it says that he prepared himself with gifts, with appeasement, with prayer, and getting ready for war. But Rashi says, not Heichin Atzmai, that he prepped himself, which would indicate it's something hard that he's going to do, that he wants to do, but he needs some prep time to get it done. It says Hiskin Atzmai, which translates as he rectified himself, where he fixed the situation in his preparation to meeting Esau. And the Rebbe says Rashi's words are exact. It wasn't just prep. It was internal, psychological, emotional prep because it went against everything that Yaakov actually believed to be true. He didn't want to send Esau gifts because he still had anger towards Esau, and yet he broke himself and sent gifts and appeasement anyhow. He didn't think prayer would work because he thought he wasn't worthy anymore, that God had done so much for him that he wasn't, his prayers wouldn't get anywhere, and yet he still went out of his comfort zone and prayed anyhow. Maybe something will happen. And he certainly didn't want to go to war, as it says clearly in the Torah, and Rashi emphasizes he was scared that he'd be killed and his family would be killed, and he was scared of killing others. He didn't want either to happen, not to be killed and not to kill others. And yet he prepared himself for war, because that's what you have to do. So it was really a hiskin atzma. He just had to change, not just prep, but change himself in order to get ready for these things. And it goes even further, says the Rebbe. Normally people can function with one primary emotion and feeling at each given time. Sure, we can carry many emotions, but not big ones. And here there was big emotions all happening at the same time. Big emotions of fear, which is connected to the war, to gvura, to the, to the feeling of severity that comes with going to war. And at the same time, there was love being expressed. He was sending appeasement gifts, hoping that this could be a reunion, a healthy one. And he was doing it all at the same time because that's what was needed at that time. And when there's a need, we figure out how to do whatever it takes, including having mixed emotions simultaneously, big mixed emotions. The Rebbe says this is a very important lesson. Jacob was concerned, Yaakov was concerned that his kids would get caught up in the Esau lifestyle. And so too when we deal with Jewish education, when we deal with saving Neshama's beautiful souls of the Jewish people and making sure that they aren't lost, that they aren't taken hostage by the winds of assimilation and secularism by the forces that are trying to take our Jewish souls hostage when we're dealing with that. We need to use whatever powers are necessary, even going out of our comfort zone, even being in uncomfortable situations, going against our nature to save a soul like Jacob was saving the souls of his family from Esau. Have a wonderful day. Stay warm, stay healthy, stay positive, and we'll see you back here soon.